Hi, welcome to Online Advantage. I'm Professor Gonzalez. We're going to go over deferred annuities today. So what is a deferred annuity? A deferred annuity is a stream of cash flows. Remember, inflows or outflows when we're looking at cash flows. And before they are either going to be paid or coming in, there is a wait time um, that extends beyond the first period before that actually occurs. So that's what a deferred annuity is. So looking at the chart here, we have a deferral of two periods before the cash flow actually starts in period three. And then it pays out in period four and period five. An example of a deferred annuity is a company borrowed money from a bank on January 1st of year one. The loan payments will not begin until December 31st of year three. Now the thing to remember about annuities is an ordinary annuity doesn't pay out or doesn't, uh, it's not a cash inflow or outflow until the end of that period. So period three is still part of the actual cycle, even though it's the end of period three. The loan will be paid back within four years and the payments are $5,000 at the end of each of the four years. The interest rate is 5%. How much did the company borrow? So this is a two-step process when we're looking at deferred annuities. The first step is to figure out the present value of the actual annuity. We had four periods on that example we just looked at, and we're going to look at present value as of the beginning of the period as to when the annuity will start, the cash flow will start. So it was on period three that we're looking at, and that's when we'll start the annuity calculation. So we find the present value of the annuity. Then we have to use that number in a second calculation. And the second calculation for step two is to figure out the present value of the lump sum amount, uh, which we would have calculated in step one. And we're covering for that one, just the deferral period, that wait period. So looking back at the example, on step one, we're going to do this in Excel and we're gonna use the present value function. And we're looking at, again, the present value of the annuity portion. Well, the rate is 5%. The periods is the period of the payment is happening. It's four periods. So the payment is happening four times. So the periods are four and the payment amount is $5,000. Then we'll do step two. We'll calculate the present value of a lump sum, still the rate of 5%, but now it's the two year deferment period, that wait period. Payment is zero because we're doing present value of a lump sum. And the future value is the amount from step one. So now let's go to Excel and do it there. Now we're gonna do this problem using Excel. Remember it's a deferred annuity. It's a two-step process. The first step is to calculate the present value of the annuity. And we're only looking at the annuity period, meaning the four years in which we are going to be paying on this loan. So we're gonna use the present value function. The first argument is the rate. So I'll type in the rate. It was 5% for this problem. The number of periods is four years. This is a four year loan. That's the number of periods. Then the payments, $5,000. And this is an annuity. It's an ordinary annuity because we are paying at the end of each year. And that is the default on the function. So I'm just gonna close the parentheses and hit enter. And now I have the present value of the annuity. The next step, Step two is to calculate the present value of that 17,730. I have to do that because I gotta wait two years or I get to wait two years in a situation because I'm paying it back before I start paying on this loan. We're going to again use the present value function. The rate is still 5%. The number of periods is that deferment time period. We're waiting two years before we start paying. Now we pay it in the third year, we pay at the end of the third year. So the deferment is really just those two years. So my number of period is two. This is of the lump sum. I'm trying to figure out present value of that 17,730, which I already calculated. So I have no payment. This is not an annuity. My future value is the future value after those two years of deferment, which is the calculation that I have above the 17,730. I can close my parentheses now because I do not have an annuity. I don't have to go any further on that. Hit enter. And that is the present value of the lump sum, which is the amount that we would have borrowed as the company. Now, deferred annuities are used for many different things in accounting. They're used for pensions, they could be used for bonds, and they could be used for investments. 
Thank you very much. I hope you found this video helpful. See you next time.